Global Digital uh, Public Goods uh, have done a great uh, success in healthcare. Uh, coming from Norway, uh, we do have some good examples. Uh, and uh, when we look uh, to the big challenges of the world today, especially when it comes to climate change, nature, biodiversity, I also hope that uh, we can see how uh, global uh, public infrastructure and global public goods can, can facilitate uh, us meeting those uh, challenges. Discussions are still ongoing among uh, different entities uh, in Brazil as for which priorities we're going to choose. Uh, it's a bit too soon yet, but um, I think that in, in a couple more weeks we'll be able to announce them to, to the world. Well, I think um, digital public infrastructure offers a lot of potential benefits, um, both to governments as they roll out services, but also to the, to benefit, to the citizens who benefit from those services and the businesses and so forth. Um, and it, it, the, the main reason why is because um, Citizens will get better services. The, the services will be more integrated. Um, so it'll be an enhanced level of, of government service delivery. And there are opportunities within that process of, of planning your digital infrastructure in a more comprehensive way uh, to achieve this. So you can address things like digital identity, digital payment systems, the exchange of data, um, so it'll, it'll be a more dynamic environment and there'll be opportunities for, I think when we look at it, we'll be looking at opportunities for SMEs to participate and to innovate on these platforms. I think that this summit is uh, very interesting uh, because we can share each other our best practices. And I think that uh, we can uh, build a strong relationship uh, between countries. Uh, about Madagascar, uh, now uh, we have a project to give uh, an uh, unique identity for all Malagasy people. So uh, you, uh, you build uh, an interoperability and interoperability between sectors, for example, education, health, and uh, homeless.